After a year of back and forth, a special magistrate is hearing from the city and fire union over higher wages for firefighters. I'm Kendall Brandt in Northeast Tallahassee. I'm at the public safety complex where the city and fire union spent over five hours defending their position on higher wages for fire employees. Keep you square or firm that the testimonial will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Tallahassee Professional Firefighters Union President Joey Davis says he is confident they made a good case for better pay for fire workers. I feel that it was clear um, the difference in, in how we were treated and the difference in, in how we we're paid versus other other departments. Davis and the lawyer for the union made their plea to a special magistrate Wednesday. <laughs> The Tallahassee professional firefighters have been negotiating with the city for one year for higher pay. The city's most recent offer, a $1,700 raise for starting firefighters, an $800 raise for engineers, and no pay bump for ranks such as lieutenants. Pension contribution is also being cut, and each employee will get a bonus of at least $500. All city employees, including police officers, were given a raise last year. Davis told the magistrate that all of their employees deserve a raise further than what is being offered, noting that their department is one of the lowest paid in the state, falling below Gainesville and Gadsden County. There are multiple areas in which our, our firefighters are behind other departments, other fire departments, uh, other departments here within the within the city. And uh, that's that's not just starting pay, but in the the ability to pay a competitive wage up throughout our ranks. That that's the primary revenue source for the uh, fire department. The city made their case as well, saying the union's ask goes beyond money collected by the fire services fee. A tax every property owner pays. Tallahassee Director of Resource Management Robert Wigan says their offer is uh, in excess of that budget. City staffers also argue that the union isn't taking into account the extra take-home pay that will come from pension contribution reduction. Michael Matamore, the lawyer negotiating on behalf of the city, told me it will bring them more money. It directly increases take-home pay, so it's a compensation increase. Davis says the current pay and the city's offer are driving away first responders. <laughs> I checked with the city. 14 firefighters have resigned since the beginning of negotiations in March of 2023. Would you say this is a good offer for firefighters? But the city says this is all they can offer. I think it's a good and fair offer. I think it would be a good resolution of these negotiations. And Davis says he trusts the process from here. I don't really think there should be a whole lot of question left uh, after, after the end of the hearing. 